Right, so now uh, we are going to start on piecemeal all step acquisition. And I was saying in a piecemeal acquisition, what happens? You find that uh, at the beginning of the year, for example, the parent was having 30 percent in a company. In which case, 30 percent is another share. Then along the way, somewhere here, they may top up additional shareholding. Maybe they acquire another 40 percent. They acquire another 40 percent of the shareholding, meaning that by the end of the year, by the end of the year, the parents will be having 70 percent. So you see, in this space, it is treated as it is treated as a share. At this stage, it is treated as a subsidiary. Is treated as a subsidiary. You know very well that other shares are not consolidated for in the financial statement. We only consolidate for a subsidiary. So the question will be how will you account for this period when it was an other shares, and how will you treat it in this period when it's a subsidiary? So tell all this me is whereby the parents have additional shares in an investee company without bringing a lot of stories. The parents had additional shares in an investee. So we can just write something small. We can just write something small. We can write something small by you saying, this is a business Below that, this is a business combination. This is a business combination in which an investor, in which an investor obtains control. An investor obtains control over an investee. An investor obtains control over an investee. Over an investee through multiple transactions. Through multiple. Transactions multiple transactions, including including adding more shareholding more shareholdings, yes, including adding more shareholdings in the investing, adding more shareholdings in the investing. In the investee. Full stop. Full stop. Another paragraph you say when the investor obtains control, when the investor obtains control, when the investor obtains control, you know, invest is the parent, when the investor obtains control of the investee. Control of the investee, comma, it remeasures, it remeasures, it remeasures any investment, it remeasures any investment. Any investment previously held, any investment previously held, measures any pre any investment previously held 
at fair value, at fair value, and consolidate and consolidate. Consolidate the investee and consolidate the investee going forward. Consolidate the investee going forward. Going forward. Full stop. Full stop. The last paragraph. The parents also. The parent also needs to determine. The parent also needs to determine. The parent also needs to determine gain stock loss. To determine gain stock loss, needs to determine gain stock loss. On the recognition, gain or loss on the recognition, on the recognition of the previously held, the recognition of the previously held investments, previously held investments, previously held investment, full stop. Full stop. Sorry, sorry. So now what we are saying, what we are saying is that when, when a parent company, when a parent company Tops up additional shareholdings in an investee. One, they need to do what is called remeasurement on the previous investment. Because, for example, when you are having 30%, there is an amount which was invested. Then, when we top up the shareholdings, we need to check this initial investment, it has gained value or it has lost value. Then from there, we will account for it using that pre-measured investment moving forward into the future. I don't think, then also you need to determine whether you have gained or you have lost for the, the recognition. The recognition means, you know, we are dropping it. So when we drop it, is there again for dropping that company? For example, it was an aggregate, then you elevate it to subsidiary. Is there again or loss? on that. So nothing much, students. Let's go to illustration. Uh, that is the concept that the examiner brought last sitting. So I want us to check that last sitting's question. Let me go for my first question. So go to last sitting 2023.
Okay. Is there everyone? Good. So allow me to read the question. Allow me to read the question. It says, the following are the summarized financial statements of P Limited and S Limited for the year ended 31st December. So statement of financial position, as you can see, statement of profit and loss, you can also see there. Additional information, P Limited acquired 25% of S. First of all, our books are on 31st December 2022. Books are on 31st December 2022. So on uh, P Limited acquired 25% of S on 1st January 2021. So that is last year, 2021, for 24-24. And exercise significant influence all the financial and operating policy decisions of S. So S was an associate. S was an associate. 25% makes S to be associate. So take note of that. So at that point, there is no problem. Note number two, note number two, note number two. The fair value of F limited identifiable assets and liabilities as at 1st January 2021 was equivalent to their book values. F limited reserves stood at 69.60. So those were from the date of acquisition last year, January. Number three, a further 35% stake was acquired by P Limited in S Limited on 30 September 2022 for 50-40. Okay. The fair value of S identified assets and liabilities at that date was shillings 11.040 and S Limited's revenue reserve to that 93.60. As of 30 September 2022, S limited share price was 14.5. Correct. So now, with that note too, with that note too, we can kick off with our analysis. Then I say, that is that Our financial year is ending on 31st December 2022. It means it must start on 1st January 2022. Then we further say that the parents had acquired 25% initially. But in the three, the parents uh, added more 35% shareholdings on that date of September 2022. So that is September 2022 is somewhere here. So this is where the additional stake was added. If, uh, let's go together, you come up with this. So from the beginning, from the beginning, uh, the family was having 35% shareholdings. Then here they topped up 35%. It means by the end of the year, by the end of the year, 
uh, the balance will be having 60%. So, let will charge your subsidiary on this debt. Initially, it was an average 25%. So, in this case, L is equal to uh, this period, first January to 30th September, those are nine months. So, L is equal to nine months. Nine months average, nine months average, comma, three months, three months, subsidiary. Very important. Very, very important. And therefore, for consolidation, for consolidation, uh, CPM, consolidation, profit and loss. You will take uh, the balance, which is P, so you will take P plus subsidiary, but subsidiary you multiply by 3 over 12. Profit and loss, subsidiary, when we are preparing profit and loss account, subsidiary will only be accounted for this period here. From here to here. We don't account for averages. So in the profit account, you will apportion all the income and expenses of L for this period where it's qualified to be a subsidiary. Then in the CSSP, in the consolidated statement of financial position, you will take P plus S in full. We don't apportion the balance here. Provided the investee, by the end of the year, investee can be qualified to be a subsidiary, then you don't apportion the assets and liabilities. You add them in full without any apportionment. So take that those seriously. And we have another question there. Are we done? So this is called step, step acquisition or piecemeal, piecemeal acquisition. At the start, it was 25. Nearly they topped up 35 percent. So by the end of the year, it's a subsidiary. I think it's qualified to be a subsidiary here on this day. So that analysis is very important for us. And let's proceed. Let's proceed. We continue reading. Let's continue reading. I hope you have you have done that analysis. Number, number four, let's go to number four. Let's go to number four. The difference between the fair value of the identified assets and liabilities of S and their book values was due to brands. The brands were estimated to have an average remaining useful life for five years from 30th September 2022. Okay, so we check into that. Number five, income and expenses are assumed to accrue evenly over the year. Neither company paid dividends during the year. No problem. Evenly means proportionately uniform. So it means the uh, linear less than here. Income and expenses will be time a portion. That's when they are talking of evenly. Even the means and the income and expenses are going to be uniform for every month. So you are portion for that period. Five, uh, number six, P limited elected to measure non controlling interest at the date of acquisition at their fair value. 
There is no impairment loss on goodwill as of 31st December 2022, while amortization of brand is classified in cost of sales. So we have been directed to calculate amortization, then we take it to cost of sales. Normally, uh, amortization we classify as administrative, but now we have been directed to take it to cost of sales, so we'll take it there. Required consolidated statement of profit or loss, another comprehensive. You have to make sure like how we're going to do it. Then consolidated statement of financial position. So there are some small adjustments and one has to work out before even we think of before we think of consolidation. Before we think of consolidation, there are some one, two elements which I want us to I want us to check. So uh, I want us to calculate goodwill first. I want us to calculate goodwill on acquisition. I want to call that one. Is it here? How is this to my final? Whether or not it is working one. So let's go to the hour in two. So good news is our one in two. So good news. You know how we get good news? So here, shillings in thousands. What is consideration? The operative consideration here will be in two phases. Phase one, uh, there is there is the twenty five percent what they invested at twenty five percent, then the one which they topped up. They topped up at thirty five. So you'll say here for additional. For additional interest, for additional interest at thirty five percent, additional interest at thirty five percent. How much did they pay to acquire the additional? Please check note number three. Check additional information number three. In note number three, you can be able to see that they are saying a total that five percent was acquired by P in end on 30th September 2022 for 5040. From the initial state, they they up 5040. Then at 25, when it was 25, that but then we're going to be a little bit keen. At 25, uh we can call, you can give it an special name, fair value of initial investment that is at 25 percent. So it will be, it will not be fair. Check not one, please. Check not one. Check additional information number one. Note one, they are saying he acquired 25% of F on 1st January for 2424. You cannot come here and read 2424. Reason being, this 2424 is the amount we paid two years ago. This investment must have increased value. So what we normally do, we go for the current market value of that investment, because goodwill is going to be calculated on the day when this investment qualifies to be a subsidiary. So we are investing it. 
So you invest the initial investment, then we top up with this one on the debt, it became a subsidiary. Correct. Therefore, therefore, you have to check the current market value of this 2424. The examiner failed to mention anywhere. I'll just remember the, the fair value of this investment. But we can as well get it by doing this. Check equity in the balance sheet. If no student in this budget are supposed to check equity in the balance sheet. So in the balance sheet, equity we have share capital of shillings one per value, in which case the share capital of S is 960. Right. Next page. In the next page, they are saying, I saw it in this note, note number three, the same same note three. They are saying a father that five stake was acquired by P in F on that year, September 2022, for 5040. The fair value of S limited to identifiable assets and liabilities as at that date was 11,040. And S limited revenue stood at 93.60. As a 30th September 2022, S limited share price was 14.5. Yes, that's what we are going to use. The current market value of the shares is 14.5. So to get the fair value of the initial investment, you will say uh, it is 25%. You don't get 25% of the shares. So shares is uh, 950. The share capital is 90 because we normally acquire the big percentage is normally the share capital. So it's 25% of 950, but 950 power value was one. But currently they are trading at 14.5. So that is you are your current investment should be standing at this. You are part of that company, 25%, when the power value was one. Currently, the market value of the shares is 14.5. It means the initial investment should be that one there. Give me that figure. But you know, some questions they can give you. If they fail, it's the percentage of the share capital. So give me that figure, please, someone. Can I percent times? That is the fair value of the initial investment. Remember? Of course, is that the same percent of my safety than the fourteen point five? This is 34, 80. So this is 34, 80. But no, no, this is going to be a full method because of note number, it was written on check note number six. Note number six. P Limited elected to mention and controlling interest as at the date of acquisition at fair value. Whenever they say they are uh, measuring at fair value, NCI at fair value, that is full method. So you come here and say fair value, fair value of NCI. Fair value of NCI. But the examiner completely failed to be that fair value. So in a question or a scenario whereby the examiner said to give you the fair value of minority, in the question they are saying, NCI has to be measured at fair value, but they are failing to give you that fair value, then what you do, you take the percentage of minority times the value 
of shares, ordinary share capital. That is what you're supposed to do. So in this case, my loyalty pays 40 percent. You know, my loyalty exists when the company is a subsidiary. So when L qualifies to be subsidiary, it qualifies with 60 percent. The 25 plus 35. So it qualifies with 60. It means my loyalty will be 40 percent. So it will be 40 percent of the share capital, which is this one here. So times. 960. I'm dividing by one because of the par value times the market value of those shares. The shares are at 14.5. So I can give you that figure. So we for 10, 55, 68. So total will be how much? This plus this plus this. So goodwill, no, first of all, give me this total. Fourteen zero eighty eight. Let me look at the Fourteen zero eighty eight. Now, uh, when you do calculate goodwill, when they are in step position, purchase consideration we always go for two. One, what you are talking now, plus what was they initial? What was they initial is where we normally have some people forgetting. Initially, what you invested should be elevated to market value because the investment is exactly the way it was. Let's like you guess it. So, exactly, I can tell you that initial investment now has this market value. That is perfect. But in the same, this is the rule we always say you take the percentage times the share capital, but the capital you consider the current market value. Then, by extension, they have said NPI will be measured at fair value, which they are also denied that. So you go for the share capital again with the percentage of minority. Then now, less net assets. Net assets is on the basis qualified to be a subsidiary. So please check for me. This one is not a video on your yet. From note number three. Check note three. Less net assets. Net assets acquired. Less net assets acquired. Call from note three. How much from the Madrid? What are you think? The next step from the day it became a subsidiary. How much can you see? 11 0 40. Thank you. That one is what I've seen. 11 0 40. So the difference is good really. The difference is goodwill. So how much is our goodwill? How much is our goodwill? Getting target 84. We'll use it later. 
If you put it on a legal requirement in this question, don't waste your time. Apparently, you mix that food with and it saves time. So, can I have a product in the back? It's easy to go for instead of this food with only. And in the same term of three, was it not three? Put a number of brand, check not four. Check not four. They are saying the difference between the fair values they identified was the liabilities of S and their book value was due to brand. The brand was estimated to have a remaining useful life of five years. So they gave us net assets to be 11,040. But they are trying to tell us when we compare the net assets in the book, you know, in the book that they retained earnings, 3048, 30, it is 3048, 3048, thank you. Uh, they reported 11,040 as net assets, but the government is saying if you compare that with the book value, it will not tally. There is a variation, and that variation they are saying is a brand. So, what we need to do, we need to check what is the value of this brand. You will say you will compare 11,040. With the book value of those other net assets. Net assets are the equity components of the data. So we can call this one 122, 123, sorry. Uh, net assets. Net assets. So let's have the net assets. Net assets. So reported. Reported. They are reported 11040. 11040. Book value. Book value. The book value is now what we need to check. So you check PCC, ordinary share capital. Ordinary share capital. Go to equity. Go to equity. The share capital for S, that is 960, 960. Then revenue reserve. Revenue reserve is the other name of retained earnings. That is what we know. So retained earnings, retained earnings, you don't pick this one in the, in the balance sheet. You came from the data of acquisition. But the data of acquisition, remember there are two, then and the top up. So you bring on the date of top up because top up is when it became a subsidiary. So check note number three. When they talked up, revenue reserve, you will be able to see that it is 360. Please check. Check, check, check. You'll be able to see that it is 360 in that note number two. In that note two. Sound so it. If you have seen that, those are the only net assets we have. So can you add the two? 960 plus 9360 will give us how much? 10,320. 10,320. Therefore, the difference, the difference between the book value and the one they are reporting, they are saying it is a brand. So brand. Of how much? That is what they are saying. So that brand is how much? 11,040 minus 10,320. What do we get? 720. Now, they are saying the brand is to be amortized over five years from 30th September. So, amortization. Amortization will be 720 divided by five years. But for this year, remember, it is being amortized from 30th September after the step acquisition. From 30th September to the end of the year, it's only three months. So, you know, in terms of the value by five, it will be harder. But we are only working with the uh, how many numbers? Three. So times three over 12. So how much will that be? It 
should be how much? 7, 10 to the 5 times 3. Um, all the hypothesis is the same. Check, check that node 4 once more, the last bit of node 4, then you will understand. The brand was estimated to have an average remaining useful life for five years from 30th. That one is where we should take in 30th September. We are closing the books on 31st of December. So 30th September to 30th September to 31st of December, those should be three months. Wrote the wrong, that is clear. So, Alisa, this is as it is. Wrote, I hope you have understood. Yes, that is okay. That is much okay. So, now, uh, what will be? I would want us to check before I start presentation. If gain or loss on the recognition, what is the recognition? It was initially an average 25%. When they talked up, they recognized the average to a familiar. So on the recognition, the parent company will either lose or gain. Even your boss, your boss will tell you, can you uh, please can you be, uh, tell me how much benefits will we get when we we stop this company from being an associate with subsidiary what are we gaining or are we losing out of it so it is very important that when you recognize that investment you need to assess whether you have gained or you have lost i think that should be my last working before presentation so that will help So you can call it what we call gain stop loss on the recognition on the recognition of other states. Gain stop loss on the recognition of other states. So, how do you know you have gained or you have lost? So, what you will do, you check. Uh, actually, in a very simple, you check the book value, no, the fair value, the market value of the initial investment, what was invested in that company, minus the book value, the book value of your investment. So we invested, initially we invested, check not one, check not one, check not one, check not one, check not one. When you check not one, you realize we initially invested 24, 24. But currently, what is the market value of that 24, 24? Those are what we need to analyze. So we start by saying, fair value, fair value, of the initial of the initial investment fair value of the initial investment we did it somewhere and we got 34 34 years you got by taking 25 times 960 times the market value of the sellers i don't know if it was this working but you can say that I remember you gave me that 480. The fair value of the initial investment that you don't mention, but when they fail, just take your percentage times the number of their share capital with their current market value. You know, initially, the market value was one. 
which was the far value as well. Right now, we are talking of 14.5. Then you let, you let the book value, book value of the investment, book value of the investment. Book value of the investment. Good. So book value, uh, book value of the investment, you will say initial, initial investment, statement one. Not one, a little of information number one. In the little information number one, it is 2424. 2424. Uh, let me do this analysis to Doko. When we acquired this company, we are investing 24-24. The program took place somewhere here. So you can also say it's 24 and 4 in the car to you. The, the profit this company makes from here to here, the parent is entitled to take 25 percent. So you will say post acquisition. Post acquisition profit. So post acquisition profit, that is before the top, before top of 35%. It will be 35% of 25 take a little information number two and three. So in note number two, they say the fair value of the electronic data set and liability on past January 2021. Was equivalent to their book value. Estimated reserve, the reserve here is the profit, reserve stood at 6960. So the profit initially was 6960. When you go to note three, when you go to note three, they say something, and estimated revenue reserve stood at 9350. So that was after the top up. So the date of top up, the profit was 93.60. So the post acquisition, you will take this profit from here to here. You add to the initial investment. So when you add this profit to this one, actually, if there is no gain, no loss, it will turn with 34.80. This will be 25% of 93.60 minus 59.60. So you, you top it up to the investment. And when you do that, it should go to the market value. If it fails, that is the game, so that is the loss. So, give it that figure. Then, maybe that figure, the difference by 25%. I think we can put a little bit of how much another presentation provided is not 600. So this is 600. So when you add, when you add this plus this, that one comes to 42403. 30, 24, I believe. 3024. So this is again. When we take the initial investment, we're we'll getting profit up to that stage, it's coming to 3024. But the market value we are getting 34.80. So this is again gain of almost. So gain on the recognition. Gain on the recognition of the average 
We are getting 456. We are getting 456. We can go down to presentation. I think you see them now. What is the story? In case, because I'm foreseeing this thing will be required one day. That's what I can assure you 100%. Any of the recognition of the initial investment, it requires required one day. So you need to know how we go about it. If you don't require your alternative, where that presentation? Presentation only required is. How we are going to do P and L, which we are already analyzed, it will be P plus L, but L3 over 12. Balance sheet, you have them in We can make it very important. So let's start with uh, the one one statement of profit stock work. So P2. Yeah, maybe. So, we need to take the IPLM revenue. So, revenue will be fell to 40 plus 4800, but 48 only for three months. There are three that group say, so this 48 and 3 over 12, plus this around. Then you will answer. Come on, so to move very fast, three of our is point two five. So point two five plus three times this. When we have it, how much is How much? Thirteen, uh -huh. thirteen for forty. Thirteen for forty. What problem? Why this is that? Cost of sales. Cost of sales. Seven eight hundred. Plus. Then eight hundred dollars for the three twenty and three of our channels. But remember, the examiner told us to classify amortization and a cost of sales. So, amortization, I think it was working free. We got 36. I remember we got 36. No, 36 is the amortization. So, this plus this plus 36. How much will you get? How much? How much? Okay. 
I'm seeing there 11, 9, 16. 11, 9, 16. Therefore, gross profit, gross profit, gross profit will be how much the difference? Fifteen twenty-four. Then, um, before I go back, the format is very small. Before I go back to the format, remember, remember, S was initially an associate. Initially, it was an associate. So, associates we normally take their profit as a tax. So, if I can say. Of other PAT profit at the time. of other profit at the time. When it was analysis, we were having 25%. So 25% of the PAT. So check in the in the segment of profit down there. Immediately after that, these people made 384. I hope you can see 384, but not for the whole year, for nine months. It was nine months as you said, before it became a subsidiary for three months. So their profit you only care for nine months. I hope that is clear. Three is the point the profit after that in the tier level. Then we were having 25% take before the top up. So you take 25 percent of the 384 by nine minus 15 or oh, minus 15. How much? What do you get? 72. You bring it there. Then there was gain. There was gain on the recognition. There was gain on the recognition. You are going to be part of the company that's somehow. How much did you get again? That game should be credited to PNL. How much was it? The game on the recognition 456. Thank you. Then number you can bring income tax. Go back to the format. Income tax will be 432 plus. 96, but 96 for three months. 96 for three months. Uh -huh. How much? How much is the income tax? Income tax from the number. When you make the market, you can 456. When you said, you don't put 456. Okay. That's why you now have to say, I'm assuming it is this other one. So you have to put it in. Okay, so. So, PAT, profit after tax. So, this is the profit after tax.
So between MCR and also holding company. So we are going to share 1926 the total. So those are what we want to share. So, I'm going to think about let's let's say uh, go out. In front of the time, let's read it. So, initially, I, I told you they take the profit and attack in the subsidiary. So, you take the profit in the subsidiary. Unagalia do kano ko UPI something. The previous time I have never let a year of realization that I pay me atuna. Then in this also there is nothing. When you do this, you say. I'm a market manager there. MCI, MCI PAC. So MCI PAC, you take PAC of S. But S, S the function uh, PAC of 384. But 384, you will take only three months. MCI. Is there for three months after this company qualified to be a subsidiary? But NCI were entitled to 40 percent. So, how much is that? The profit of the task is 384, but only for three months, minority were having 40 percent trade because current 60. So, how much will that be? How much will that be? How much, how much? I never thought we can finish this question, but we have to pick up. If any good answers, now that we can finish, we shall be good for us. How much? 38.4. So this is 38.4. Then we have to find the amortization. There was amortization. Amortization was 36. Give them 40%. Give them 40% of that state, they will go with how much? Forty percent of that state. Fourteen point four. So this is 14.4. You have that. So 13.4 minus 14.4. How much remains? That is what goes to the minority as profit. How much? 24. So minority give them here 24. So go up there and give them 24. It means the parent will take 1596. Minus 24. 1596 minus 24. How much? 1596 minus 24. 1572. 1572. That is over. That is over. Let's go to NCI. Yeah, other comprehensive, sorry, NCI and the other comprehensive. How did we arrive health care? How did we arrive at this total comprehensive? Total comprehensive, we took the PAT plus this revaluation. The same thing happens here. You check what minority got in the PAT. So if the PAT was 24, in the revaluation, Minority will not will only get revaluation in the subsidiary, not the two eight. The two eight goes to the parents. We then will not be interested in the subsidiary. So it will be ninety six. What are you twenty four 
that may be paid for three months or to percent. That is what my notice is in check. They will take forty percent of this many tickets, but for three months. They will not take the one in the parents, they only take the one in the subsidiary. So how much is that? Then to take three over 12, 40 percent plus 24, which they have gotten in the PAT. How much will that be? How much will that be? How much, how much will that be? Uh, 33.6. So my balance will take the total 1926 minus 33.6. What will you get? What do you get that effect? Eighteen ninety two point four, sorry. Point four. We are done. Well, how that PLM was supposed to be prevented. And in the PLM, you require five kids, only five. So the five a student was supposed to get one. When you have the three months with Lori, was to get one without traveling, without traveling. Uh, you are supposed to get this one as well. The students will also get that one and this one. Those are the kids one who have Papa without traveling. One, two, three, so you get in eight of our ten. It's not bad. You will win the tournament. Let's try to get the balance sheet. That I'm happy we are there. And let's have another question. I want to delete this. So, one of the things I want to start to say, I think I will do a you pick group consolidated statement of financial position and that. But I want to start to say. All right, that's the heading. Then you do the balance sheet. There is something which is going to tire us. Now, after you don't have to cancel to my list, the retained earnings and NCI. I uh, just have a working. Let's do them so that we forget about them. Because to cast and the opportunity is left to the best in there. So let's do those two workings so that when we start the presentation, we are good. So, right for me, they are consolidated. I don't even call it which working. Consolidated. Return earnings. Consolidated return earnings. Consolidated return earnings. So we can start. So start for P. Start with P. Check the balance sheet. Return earnings in the balance sheet. 47,904. I hope you can be able to see that. 
Then you add what we call post-acquisition. So add post-acquisition profit. Post-acquisition profit of S. But S is a quite tricky. In a quite tricky because it's equilibrium. I please. In the balance sheet, how could you require a P? In the balance sheet, you are seeing 94 kg. On the date of acquisition, check note two. Check note two. In note two, on the date of acquisition, it was 69.50. On the date of total, check note three, it was 93.60. So within this space, you know, you cannot just take post acquisition to be this minus this. It has worked wrong because the percentages are different. From here to here, you take 25%. From here to here, you take 60. Current takes 60%. So you have to separate the two. So post acquisition, uh, you can say post acquisition, other states. So other states, this period, 25% of 9360 minus 69.60. Subsidiary, subsidiary, 50 of this, 94, 80, minus 93, 60. Give me these two figures. Yeah. That right is, I hope it is very clear for us. So much and how much? You just write A is equal to L is equal to then you are done. So that's how we have to separate it. For the subsidiary, you go for post acquisition. And we cannot just take this minus this because the rates are different. Percentages. So we take for this period 25, for this period 60. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm told six hundred and seventy two. Six hundred seventy two. Thank you. Then there was gain. That gain must be credited to return balance. Gain on the recognition. I remember it was it was let me retreat back your figure for something. Four. No, the other day you figure requires four ones. On the recognition, it was four something, four fifty six. Four fifty six. Less amortization. Amortization was thirty six. But this time around, currently takes fifteen. Minority took forty percent of amortization. 
So what is 50% of the state? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point six. I'm not seeing anything else. What else can I consider? Nothing. Can you give me this figure, this consolidation? I don't see anything else. Can you give me that consolidated figure? Capture. You might be doing an MCI to analyze, then we go to presentation without issues. You have to How much will that be? What the nine zero ten point four? Let me see how it's equity. So NCI equity, NCI equity, we just check what is attributable to the minority. So that one will not be bad, bad. So to minority, we say fair value on acquisition. We need it somewhere. We need it somewhere. But I can still show you how we how we got it, the fair value, we took 40% of 960, but the value of the shares was 14.5. You can recall. It is something we did. We have to remind you the figure. We got 5,000 and something. 55, 54 then. 55, 68. 55, 68. So we then you will give them post acquisition profit in the subsidiary. See, this one here. So, and post acquisition profit. So, post acquisition profit uh, is 9480 minus 9360. When it's a subsidiary, you don't bring other shares. So, it will be 40% of 9480. Minus 93, 60. I can tell you the same thing to avoid wasting time, but can make a any amortization. Because we are going to agree to change 40% to continue, so you can just apply it straight away. Can you do this? Then you will follow the percent of it. So the statistics is the amortization. This one is the cost, this minus this. Whatever the material will make after acquisition, 40% will go to the minority. People are getting 33.6. So far, then we are done with MCI. So, can you add with 55.58? Add it with 55.58. What will you get? Fifty-six zero one. 
I think we have everything on board. Eight minutes can be enough for us to, to do presentation. So let's go to presentation of which you have written the heading. So we can learn to do this for we can have a So students are in thousands. Students are in thousands. So now current capture. Let's go to their balance sheet. Let us go to their balance sheet. Now current assets, we have PPE. PPE will be 46,380 plus 9120. You know, you can adjustment. So just add. What do you get? 55, 500. Good. Next. Investment in end. Investment in end, you bring goodwill. Goodwill within the working. What did we get for goodwill? And also tell me the working. I think the working was what they took. For set what they took. Goodwill started for today. Then there are three brands. Brand, we got 720, but we advertised 56. So how much is remaining for the brand? Brand, we got 720, we advertised 56, 30, 48. That's not brand that we but I use the So in terms of minus that, six eighty four. Give me the total and current assets. Forty four. Hmm. Which is that? Which is that? Fifty five plus three plus six. We are thinking forty four was not supposed to be there. So fifty nine, two thirty two. Fifty nine, two thirty two. Then current taxes. We just came with our current market, so you earn 15 to 40 plus 26, 40. 15 to 40 plus 26, 40. There was no unrealized profit, no nothing. So add the two. Add the two. Seventeen eighty. Total assets. Total assets. Total assets will be how much? Seventy-seven. One more. Two. If we can liability. Equity and liabilities, ordinary, their capital, parent only, parent. This one we only said parent. Ordinary, their capital, we only said parent. So parent is 12 to 40. 12 to 40. Revenue reserve. Revenue reserve. Which is return earnings. I don't even call the three to working. This one here 49, 010.4. MCI 5601.6. This one here. So give me the total of equity. 
you will have the top of the PPT. So that one, it is. It is one point. I want to be on the line. Sixty six, eight, fifty two. Sixty six, eight, fifty two. And then. What are going to do? Current liabilities, current liabilities, eighty-nine, forty, plus thirteen, twenty. People, you don't come to our one. Yeah, it's, it's normal. Actually, eighty-nine, forty, plus thirteen, twenty, ten to sixty. So total. If you want to do it, I will put it on the total equity and liabilities. Total equity and liabilities. Total equity and liabilities. Total equity and liabilities. How much? Total total equity. Look at eighty seven three seventy two. Mohai say seventy seven one one two. Which is which? It is balancing. Someone say balancing. What? Hmm. Good Luthi and Mohai for different figures. Then so Luthi said you are saying Rosa said it is balanced. So eighty seven one one two. So it is not in order. So that even the balance sheet was being given in five times too. So balance sheet, my students will forget this without any problem, this without problem, this without problem, and this without problem. It's good I tell you the truth. Those are not students. A student will not be composed. We have to have a group. We have to have a group. We have to have a group. So come on, all the way students will learn and stuff. Okay, so after you, you, you analyze and you do this, you will get this thing. And that student was supposed to get eight or ten. The other side of it, the way I told you, someone who did not travel was also to get eight or ten. And then on the day, you need to get 16 or 20 in that two question. Even without doing those working, without those working, you are to get 15. Provided you analyze that here we do this and here and then the daily balance is divided. What else is our next question? Will be May 2016. The couple you can check if you have time, which I don't know. I don't think if you do have May 2015. He was already along May 2015. Could I want to the apple? I think it is poorly arranged in the first question. No, twenty fifteen. I don't know. This is nineteen, twenty nineteen, fifteen, twenty nineteen. It is twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Uh, I got it. May twenty nineteen. May twenty nineteen. Question two. In my question, it's 59. So let me on Saturday at 1 here, here, here. I hope we are moving on well. So I wish you a good day. Uh, take care. You know what are things which are happening. Then we meet in our next class. Thank you. Have a nice day.